Chemical reaction Whenever a chemical change occurs, we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place. In a chemical reaction, a new substance is formed which is completely different in properties from the original substance. The transformation of chemical substance into another chemical substance is known as chemical reaction. For example, rusting of iron, the setting of milk into curd, digestion of food, respiration, etc. What is actually meant by a chemical reaction? How do we know that a chemical reaction has taken place? Let us perform an experiment to find the answer to these questions. Burning of a magnesium ribbon in air. For this experiment we need a burner, small part of magnesium ribbon, sand paper, a tong, and a watch glass. Follow these steps. Take a magnesium ribbon. Rub and clean the magnesium ribbon with sand paper. This is done to remove the protective layer of basic magnesium carbonate from the surface of the magnesium ribbon. Hold the ribbon using a pair of tongs. Burn the ribbon using a spurt lamp or a burner. The burning ribbon should be held at arm's length. Do not look directly at the burning ribbon. You must have observed that magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling white flame and changes into a white powder which is collected in a watch glass. Due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in the air a new substance called magnesium oxide is formed. It is a state change of magnesium to magnesium oxide. The substances which take part in a chemical reaction are called reactants. The new substances produced as a result of a chemical reaction are called products. Any of the following observations helps us to determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place. In other words following observations are characteristics of chemical reactions. Evolution of gas. The chemical reaction between zinc and dilute sulfuric acid is characterized by the evolution of hydrogen gas. Change in color. The chemical reaction between citric acid and purple colored potassium permanganate solution is characterized by a change in color from purple to colorless. Change in state of substance. The combustion reaction of candle wax is characterized by a change in state from solid to liquid and gas. Because the wax is a solid, Water formed by the combustion of wax is a liquid at room temperature. Whereas, carbon dioxide produced by the combustion of wax is a gas. There are some chemical reactions which can show more than one characteristics. Change in temperature. The chemical reaction between zinc granules and dilute sulfuric acid is also characterized by a change in temperature. Which is a rise in temperature. Formation of precipitate. The chemical reaction between sulfuric acid and barium chloride solution is characterized by the formation of a white precipitate of barium sulfate. As we observe the changes around us, we can see that there is a large variety of chemical reactions taking place around us. Thanks for watching.